Hey people, into here, 3v3, Argus Desert Gates, blue team, we have Jared Leto, the new Joker. I think this is Sodding, who seems to like to give us the latest movie news with his name. Plays a Grey Knight Brother Captain, durable commander that walks through objects of very good offense and support fights in melee combat. I will call him Sodding. Alongside, we have two Imperial Guard players. First up is Venom, as a Inquisitor, offensive commander, lots of great control abilities can also support, begins in melee combat but can get ranged weapons, this is the Steel Legion elite scheme and rounding off this blue team is Marcus Flavius Aquila as a Commissar Lord, good offense and support fights in melee combat begins with a refractor field, red team a whole bunch of chaos first up, a minion is a chaos lord, durable and destructive commander, walks through objects and cannot be suppressed on very good offense and disruption fights mainly in melee combat with that big awesome looking demon sword and this is the alpha legion elite scheme alongside weakest van der Merwe plays a chaos sorcerer offensive and disruptive commander lots of great manipulation and control abilities begins in melee combat and it's pretty killy too some black legion here and rather than off the red team all three chaos commanders we have Helgron as an iron warriors plague champion starts off range combat with a damage over time bolter can get melee weapons some decent utility and support can build turrets and repair but it's very slow looks awesome iron warriors with that mask that's the iron warriors elite scheme by the way mid you got the chaos lord chasing down some guardsmen gonna get a hammer of the witches to the face though and is forced to retreat come on lord chasing down chaos space marines Get some great special attack immediately knocking down all three models heretics weighing in but that was really slow play from a minimum should have backed off the csm much quicker especially since this other csm squad were coming out he's lucky there not to lose a model doesn't lose a model with good plays that was sheer luck and he might be able to take down his combat lord if he's not careful marcus and he does lose him now get behind that heavy cover and start shooting your bolters. You might want to retreat those CSM because they are close to losing a model. Meanwhile, on the east side, triple Inquisitorial Stormtroopers from Sodding. Get a space screen trying to force melee combat. They do have the same firing pattern as in Imperial Guard Stormtroopers, so that nice last gun burst, hot shot last gun. And the witch is on retreat, doesn't quite get a model. But she's doing well, this Inquisitor so far. Has that plasma pistol, of course. And we have good nade launcher heretics. Grenade launchers to try and combat those triple stormtroopers, which can be very nasty. Especially if these guys themselves get grenade launchers. Grey Knight's in a pretty good place, I think, in terms of team game and their current balance. Even I tend to do well with them, so they must be good. Grey Brother Captain already has his Nemesis Four Sword and Blessed Aegis. A lot of complaints about the current state of the Rhino since it comes out the gate with super, he super heavy infantry armor at a time when there's a lot of piercing damage around in Tier 1. I don't generally have a problem with it. I just, just don't attack it. Attack everything else. Bleed those models. Bleed those Stormtroopers. Bleed those Strike Squad. Let the Rhino sit there with its 25 DPS piercing. It's not doing a whole lot. If everything gets inside it and runs away, then you won the engagement and start capping stuff. And then in tier 2, you can deal with the Rhino. It's not generally a, a huge deal for me. It's not like this is a 1v1 and it's giving you potentially loads of map presence. You can sometimes see them used with purgation on some 3v3 maps to bash power. But I don't think it's the, the sky is falling kind of situation that a lot of people think. As Chaos, I generally don't have a problem with Rhinos. I don't find them particularly annoying to deal with. 500, 417, we have a 2 to 1 cap for the Imperial team. Catatrons forced off, those are Venoms. We have triple Guardsmen for Marcus Elgron with some Noise Marines. Noise Marines are just freaking awesome in this game. In Elite Mod with that single Sonic Blaster doing the damage of all three Sonic Blasters that they have in retail and you get two models with Bolters as well. Really, really solid unit. Not really that niche as well. They do well against everything, I think. And they're going to bash power here. 500, 396. Going after the node first. 
Imperial forces pushing the west side. We have double Flamer Guards on here, making short work of those generators. Chaos Lord needs to get in action here. Double CSM coming out, and we have Grenade Launcher Heretics too. Triple CSM, I must miss a mistake, surely. Did he really go triple CSM? Maybe he is. No sign of the combi flamer from the Chaos Lord, which will, would be doing a lot of damage to this Garden. But then again, it is only Garden. Has the Harness of Rage, though. Pretty strange build from a minion so far. Harness of Rage, for no apparent reason, and triple CSM. Usually against this composition you'd see Combi Flamer and Armory Inferno in tier 2. Here comes the Commissar Lord. Is he getting a ton of war for all three CSM? He does. That's quite a lot of piercing damage in tier 1. But then again you're only killing Guardsman. Maybe he can take down the Sentinel with it. Should be able to shoot down the Commissar Lord reasonably well. You see that sidearm for the Commissar Lord picking off those heretic models. 482, 393, 2-1 cap for the red team. Chimera on the way for Marcus already and Jared Leto or Sodding as we call him has gone tier 2 with just triple stormtroopers. Down goes the Commander Lord again, loses him a bit sloppily there Marcus. Chimera is on the way. Sodding going for Purify is awesome, love to see those guys in action. Meanwhile east side, what's going on? 468, 393. Big wall of fire here from the blue team isn't there? Noise Marines might struggle to get close to that, but there is a heavy bolted turret up from Helgron. And a nice pincer here. Chaos Sorcerer with the vestments of the warp allows him to teleport around. Pretty handy. Havoc's coming into play. Is Quizzler getting a bit too close there? 453, 393. Grenade Launcher Heretics. Wow. Absolutely decimating Guardsman. Can he finish off one of these squads? Can he finish off? both of the squads I think he will that is painful for Venom retreated the wrong way he says what other way would you expect them to go to get to your central base they're gonna take the shortest route it's not unpredictable you just need to know your routes heretics moving up the mid from a minion is not having much luck on that west side we now have a bunker here almost our lord with stubbornness We'll be getting lots of buffs off those triple guardsmen that he has. Might be able to get up to the top buff, as you see there, which is 75% more damage. And a health region every 3 seconds, if you can get him around 30 troops. It's not that hard with guardsmen. 417, 393. Just double maxed out guardsmen and some stormtroopers might do it. Well, not quite. Yeah, maybe it will. 24 and the Stormtroopers should do it. 402, 393. Grenade Launcher doing a good job versus anything that gets into that bunker. Got that Chimera there, providing support for the guards when it allows them to reinforce off it. And this might be a repair bunker at some point to repair the Sentinel and the Chimera. See that stubbornness health regen. Commander Lord again, getting way too close. What is he doing? Loses him again, and again, very, very sloppy. 363, 393. Three very sloppy Commander Lord losses from Marcus, and I think he has repurchased each time. That's 500 requisition down a drain from sloppy Commander losses, and that might be 750 if he repurchases again. Blue team taking a natural back. We have triple plasma gun stormtroopers. And these guys are awesome because they have that overcharged plasma ability as you see there in a tooltip. Basically a big ball of plasma that instantly suppresses enemy any enemy infantry that it hits. It's very, very useful. They also have improved damage these days with 12 DPS per plasma gun instead of the 8 that they had. Heretics, oh, they might have wiped there if they didn't retreat from that Sentinel Missile Launcher. Has no way whatsoever of dealing with this Chimera yet, a minion. And instead of getting a way to deal with it, he's getting aspiring champions up on his Chaos Space Marine. So now we see why he has gone for triple CSM. He wants to, I would, I guess you could call it, abuse the slaughter ability, which is generally seen 
as overpowered at the moment in its first iteration but it is being toned down for the next update but uh, no, well you can move in and slaughter as much guardsmen as you want but they're reinforcing three at a time so what's the point two at a time in this case he needs to take down the chimera not pointlessly kill guardsmen 347 349 very close on vp's manticore in play from venom venom i should say who recovers from those losses to get a manticore up and some more guardsmen with plasma guns Noise Marines still with their Sonic Blaster, the turret has gone down. Bunch of, wow, triple Grand Ultra Heretics up here, that's pretty painful for any line for to get support in it. Lightning Claws on the way for the Chaos Lord with Harness of Rage and Icon of Corner, very strange loadout. Usually you see Harness of Rage with his Dark Halo. But not this guy, 347. 329 purifiers will catch him in retreat and might finish him off here. They got very close to doing so. Purifiers are so awesome. 20, 50 hit points at level 1 with their Justy Car. The Justy Car with that heavy melee demon hammer. The other models with power melee weapons. There's that overcharged plasma you saw. The melee slaughter Chaos Space Marines doing a good job. Might want to use Mind Blades on his Purifiers here. But they are forced off with the help of the Stormtroopers and the Purifiers reinforcing off the Chimera. A good job that Chimera was there. You saw all those special attacks from these guys. They are eventually persuaded to leave. And the Purifiers can reinforce their stuff. 347. 329 Red Team taking the east side. You have a melee plate champion with the Plague Sword, a power weapon that ignores melee resistance, very powerful, and Armor of Pestilence is up. Manticore Strike almost wipes out the Noise Marines, very lucky to still have two models there, Sentinel just about getting away itself. Plasma Gun Stormtroopers, ouch! Auto Cannon is going to set up in their face, and that thing is ridiculously painful. Red team taking the east side. They have the 2 to 1. You see a lot of pressure on the mid though. Wow, lots of dead guardsmen. Bundling themselves inside the Chimera. And now he's backing away. A minion still with absolutely no AV whatsoever. Pointlessly kitting out his Chaos Lord to fight guardsmen with lightning claws, apparently. Maybe he's got it to go after the Commissar Lord, but he's not doing a whole lot. The only thing that's really effective against is the, is the Commanders and these Purifiers. And that thing costs 200 rec, 50 power, the Lightning Claws. So, some really strange choices so far from a minion. The Brother Captain now has the Halberd. Also has Unlidian Purge. And Blessed Age is another really good Manticore Strike. Forcing off the Auto Cannon and the Grenade Ultra Heretics. Sneaky Catechins, infiltrated by the Interrogator's armor, silently is the name of the ability. Forcing melee combat, are they? No. Forcing melee combat on Plague Marines, not generally a good idea, not generally a good idea to shoot at them that close either, because they will explode in your face and send you flying. Plague Champion now getting some zombie Catechins, thanks to that Plague Sword. 288-329 Plague Marine is getting a shot on the Sentinel, not doing a huge amount of damage as you can see. They're not exactly the most killy anti-vehicle squad, but they are very tough and they give you that snare on every single hit. Chaos Terminator is on the field for Wickers and the Meryl. Here come some Ogrins, no, nope, back in a way, ouch, Marcus Zinch CSM. So much pain for those super heavy infantry ogrins. Lots of Imperial Guard stuff mid with some purifiers too. A minion really needs some help here. Look at this though, he's got some Havocs with an auto cannon. Gonna be immediately tied up by the Commander Lord with Xenos Power Core. Also has the Bionic Eye. A lot of red stuff just sitting here on the east side, eventually coming mid. Blue team have their nap. Lightning Claws on this Terminator is perhaps to take down those purifiers and here we see 
some grey knight turn when it's on the field coming out of base that's going to be pretty nasty here we see that demoralizing effect from those chaos terminators killing things increasing the damage these enemy units take and decreasing the damage that they do really is a nice passive for those chaos terminators and now using power fits on the chimera are they they thought about it massive and very sloppy engagement here for the imperial guard player it's marcus some good pressure but i don't think they ever decap that vp did they i don't think they did this is the dead sentinel triple csm turning on it and he's actually doing reasonably well with this triple csm all using that slaughter well here comes on green Knight terminators power melee splash with a holocaust from their Liber Demonica lifting things in the air Chaos Space Marines going flying for some reason and that was pretty nasty now they teleport away lost a lot of health though wow from triple slaughter CSM doing the business there 237307 as I said that is being toned down the melee stance is going to have less damage they also going to have an increased cooldown and they're only going to have their big health regen when they are in combat with the melee stance. 237, 296. It's going to be nasty hell fury on a blob of heretics. Always very, very painful. 2 to 1 cap for the blue team. Can they keep this momentum up? Where are those ogrins? They are hanging around on the east side, repurchasing their bonehead leader. Slightly more intelligent than the other Ogrins, very slightly though. Chaos Lord level 3. He now has the Mantle of Hate. And he's gonna die here. Purifiers catching him. Level 2 Purifiers, 237, 274. Helgron with double. No, he's got the chosen Plague Marines, awesome. And some Plague Marines also. They really do need another Fork Trade, don't they? That's the psychic field from the purifiers use it and flee those triple CSM with that slaughter are really causing problems auto cannon coming into play Chimera has done well almost level 3 this thing providing a lot of support for the blue team in mid chosen plague marines and a melee plague champion not a good fight for the Ogrins there these noise marines strangely split up so they lose a model, not sure what happened there. A zombie guardsman will be very useful, not really. Shoots his last gun for Nurgle until he crumbles to death. 237, 241. Chimera up here for Venom. Taking auto cannon shots from the Terminators and also Plague Marine shots. But he has not gone for the claws. So it's going to be, it's going to need to be very careful of what sodding is bringing. Wow, this come here again, absolutely wrecked by the auto cannon. Granite Terminator is moving up. They have a side cannon, wrist mounted, big engagement here. Chosen Plague Marines getting in there and get away with the model. There is a rocket run. Might wipe out those heretics. Yes, it does. Ouch. Chosen Plague Marines do get away. Did the Plague Champion get away? No, he didn't. In fact, all three Red Commanders are down here. Helgron should probably repurchase and try and revive these two guys for big, fat XP gains. Not sure why these guys teleported there, but they did. Again, these Terminators need to be so careful. These Chaos Terminators, that is. Just the purifiers alone will give them a very, very good fight. These are now level 2 purifiers, almost level 3. Already have 22.55 hit points. Chosen Plague Marines moving on. Now that is an interesting fight. Chosen Plague Marines versus purifiers. I wonder how that turns out. These guys have 22.50 hit points, level 1. 227, 228. Bring out is getting a bit too close to that Blastmaster. This Chaos Terminator is doing well. Give me that really good mobile firing platform with that auto gun and Manticore strike though. 
good shot on the Havocs. But they live and they can set up again. Chosen Plague is moving in. We need to use their Nurgle's Rocks. Ogrin's losing models and they use their Nurgle's Rot eventually. Gives you zombies for every affected model that dies. Can be very, very useful. Look at all the zombies they're getting. Got a zombie Ogrin. Awesome. 179, 228. Good push by the red team on the east side. Mid looks kind of quiet, but the captain taking his natural back. Very nice stuff is sitting mid, trying to fight these very dangerous triple CSM here. That slaughter really is problematic, but there is the Holocaust. This might be a dead CSM squad here. Surely it is, yes. Wipes them out. 158, 228. There's the 2 to 1 cap for the red team. Our blue team going to push mid here. Red team seem to be really summing up this east side pretty well. Great and clean one on the field for Ovicus Van der Mero. Stomping around, super unit for chaos, a greater demon so you can worship this guy. Has some great abilities and is pretty tasty in melee combat. 240 damage per hit I think he does of heavy melee. There's some zinc worship for him, 139, 228. Land Raider Phobos on the way by Holbron. Marcus has double Passerkin with grenade launchers and the other squad must be inside this Chimera. 132, 228. These guys need to be careful. A Chaos Lord has caught them. Takes out one of them. Ouch. Imperial Abyss. Catching the purifiers pretty nastily there. Dragging in the brother captain. Look how much damage the center of the Abyss does. I think it's 200 heavy melee DPS. That is crazy. 118228. Brother Captain able to decap at least. He's level 8, this guy. 1807 hit points with the Holy Armor of Titan. Good usage of the overcharged plasma shot again. A minion running out of ideas, you see. Very, very one dimensional composition here with all those CSM which have done well in bursts but with this tier 3 Grey Knight stuff they're not having much luck we now have a Terminator Librarian on the field with Polycom Eternum there are some subjugated Terminators going after the Chimera on rear armour Auto Cannon almost finishes it up and the Terminators did not fire on it I don't think Great unclean one fighting some Grey Knight Terminators. That is an awesome sight to see. Vomits on them as well. Can he get a model? Surely he can. He needs to consume a heretic so he can use the foul snare again. How have these guys not lost the model? There's the Kodokami turn them to infiltrate them. Very, very lucky to get away without a model lost there. Chaos Terminators can't chase them if they can't see them. 116, 197. So lucky. Three models with 400 hit points. 116, 194. Chosen Plague Marine is almost level 2. These guys end up at not too far away from 4,000 hit points at maximum level. As you can see, they're 24, 75 at level 2. I think they have like 3,600 or something like that at level 4. 116, 180. There's a Phobos top with all those last cannons ready to shoot the crap out of something. We have an auto cannon with weapon squad. Red team are pushing mid though. Here's a land red of Crusader. With those very, very scary hurricane bolters suppressing and giving stuff from long range. Look at that on a CSM. Level 3 Chimera from Marcus. He's been very sloppy with his Commissar Lord, but he has used his Chimera very, very well. And he's floating huge amounts of resources here, obviously saving up the 1000 requisition for a Bane Blade. The Brother Captain going to town level 9. 101, 180. Out. That is painful. Just stacking up the abilities there, Sodding. We now have subjugated purifiers. Now they're back in control, going after the fake champion here. Who's level 5 and is getting his fist. Fires chasing off CSM. Here is the Phobos and the Great Unclean One. Everything going straight after 
the land raiders, they should be turning to engage these purifiers, I think. Why would you send your chosen plague marines after a land raid? I have no idea. There's a sanctuary, very annoying ability to fight against 101, 180, the Phobos using his Dirge Blaster. Graham Kimon chasing down the Crusader, but it will be okay. Graham Kimon now waddling away, he's got a very long walk back to safety. Grey Knight Terminator is chasing with their side cannon firing. 101-166. Manticore trying to do some damage to the foe, but it's a bit we largely avoided it. Blue team looking pretty good now. Have three very strong armies. Venom with two Manticores. Sodding with some nasty Grey Knight stuff. The Terminator Librarian just about getting away. No, he does not. Goes down right at the end there. Can just replace him, I suppose. Bane Blade is on the way for Marcus. Vickers with almost 1,500 hit points and almost 200 power. What is he waiting for? You can't get a Phobos and a Grand King one. Just buy something. Get a Predator tank. Marco Zinch to go after that land raider. 101, 135. Or maybe just some last cannon havocs. Because they will do a good job versus the Terminators as well. Magical Strike on the VP, but it's already been decapped. The team should be able to retake it here. Paper is going to town though. Lost a lot of hit points. Needs to run them away down to a single model. He does get them out of there just about. Here's some more Plague Marines for you to fight. 101, 135, Red Team really keeping the pressure up on this central VP. The natural VP for the blue team. Purifiers turn against their own land raider here by the subjugation. But these guys are not capping. You need to cap. You really need to cap Manticore. Ouch, painful. Probos pushing forward. They need to decap at least here. Come on. Sorcerer moving in to try and do so, I think. Left it too late. Now there's tons of Imperial Guard stuff and a Bane Blade to deal with. 101, 135. Here come the Grey Knights. There's some Terminators and a new Terminator Librarian. 101, 135. That one to one still in effect. Nobody capping the east side. Looks like Chosen Plague Marines were wiped out trying to get it, were they? Yes, I think they were. 101, 135 still. Red team with a lot of pressure, but not a whole lot to show for it. They haven't whacked any units. They haven't even decapped this VP. It's a big mistake, I think. It seemed like the vehicles were getting in the way and they couldn't decap. Well, the captain using Immortal to revive the Commissar Lord. Commissar Lord level 3, Brother Captain level 10. Almost 2,000 hit points on this guy now. Commissar Lord again goes again goes down I should say. What's that the fifth time, the fourth time? Has a death wish this guy. 101, 122, Magical Track again. 2 to uncap for the blue team. Looks like they have the measure of the red team here. If a Nurgle Predator for a minion for some reason, why would you get this? Against two super heavy vehicles and terminators, you want those las cannons up. Vickers gets the idea and does get a mark of Zinch Predator Tank. 101-106. Imperial Abyss on the Bane Blade which just sits there and takes it. Over 3,000 hit points on this thing of course. It does force off all the guards on them but it's not a very long retreat. And they will defend their VP. Red Team now needs to swing to this east side. Chosen Plague is just about getting away. Level 2 these guys. Plague Champion with his fist, level 5. Trying to chase down his auto cannon and last cannon here. Manticore Strike on the Chaos Sorcerer's face. Ouch. Knocks him off the cap. Doesn't kill him, but the Plague Champion has been killed. 10190. Brian Kimo is going to go down, chased by a whole bunch of Grey Knights. 
and he will explode on death, which is a lot of fun to see. Ah, uh, this guy's gonna hang around for the explosion. 10190, they are hanging around for this explosion here. Just about gets away. Yes, he does get away. Purifies have been awesome. Level 4, 27, 28 hit points. 96, 90. Red team with a huge one now. Somehow. Bane Blade just coasting forward here. Everything reinforcing off that Land Raider Crusader. 86 90. A frantic finish. A bunch of Chaos Terminators on the field for Vicus Vandermeer. Who's still floating huge amounts of Pat of Wreck, we could say. 79 90. Girls Terminator just getting shot to pieces here. Losing a model. Phobos doesn't want to get that close to a Bane Blade. Especially with that much hit points. Blue team have generally played it a lot better end game in this mid. Red team with some hasty pushes I feel. Some strange choices again from a minion. Now he's getting some playboy. That makes a bit more sense. His Havocs have an auto cannon. 79, 78, doesn't get much closer than that. 2 to 1 cap for the blue team. Red team still trying to push against all of this stuff instead of just backing off and sending some stuff to the east side. Obviously, they don't want to send everything to the east side, but then this stuff will just cap the mid. 79, 76, or 65, I should say. Massive engagement here. Phobos might go down. Rainblade has taken a lot of damage. Can they finish it off here? Here comes a Marvel Zeech Predator tank. Down goes a Phobos. Takes out the Zeech Predator tank as well. Really good magical strike from Venom. Really good. Rainblade is in a bit of trouble. Down two. Near enough 300 hit points. Being chased by. Kill Space Marines of all things. 79 45. Looks like the blue team are going to grind out a victory here because Helgron has lost pretty much his entire army, getting another Phobos. But blue team's armies are huge and scary. They have the east side sewn up very, very well. Some really good Chimera play from both of the blue team Imperial Guard players. Marcus did eventually lose his. But Venom still has his up on the east side. Terminator Lab, we're in level 2 now. This level 2 Nurgle Predator backing away. 79, 23. That's a rocket run. Which hits very, very little. Obviously going for those double Terminators, couldn't quite get it. A ballsy move now from Vickers van der Meer. Needs to cap though. Sorcerer will try to do so. 79-11. Last cannon getting shots. Manticore poised to fire. Grenades going off even. Now these power fists going after the Chimera, are they? Not quite. Turning their auto cannons onto the guards when they do get the decap. And there's the 2 to 1. But these guys cannot retreat away. And they are going to lose models. Gonna lose an entire squad here, I think. Yes. The other squad just about gets away, but here comes some Grey Knights. You don't want to see these guys as Terminators. We are limping away. 79-6. Noxious Cloud here from the Plague Champion. These guys just reinforcing off the Chimera though without a worry. Magical Strike. Doesn't quite knock these guys off the gap. It's a 2 to 1 for Red. They are seriously depleted. It's just a matter of time before the blue team get their tooth one back and see this game out. Grey Knights looking very, very scary here. Very scary. Well, the captain's been level 10 for about 10 minutes, I think. Getting his Nemesis warding stuff late game. There's a single cap for blue team. Gonna get a cheeky triple at the end, or at least they would have if they didn't win the game already and there it is let's have a quick look at the commanders had that level 10 brother captain who i think he had 
Nemesis Four Sword on Blessed Ages in Tier 1, but switches to the Halberd, Holy Armor of Titan and Unending Purge to finish the game also almost had his Warding Staff up to support those Terminators even more. The Inquisitor Level 5, Inferno Pistol, Interrogators and Rosarius. The Commissar Lord who went down about 4 or 5 times I think had the Xenos Power Claw, Bionic Eye and Stubbornness the Chaos Lord with the very strange loadout of Lightning Claws against Double Imperial Guard, Mantle of Hate began with the Harness of Rage and the Icon of Corn. Some strange choices all around from Aminion. Seem his single plan seemed to be to try and abuse Slaughter and, and that that was it. He didn't have much ideas apart from that. Chaos Sorcerer got to level 9. Looks like he has his Rod of Warp Friday. Also had the Tome of Subjugation and Vestimus of the Warp. The Plague Champion level 5 with Plague Fist. Plague Sword also. Excellence. And Mucus Discharge. There you have it guys. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. And I'll see you next time.